Wine Widows in Paso. I think we're we're near fruit here. Yeah, we're at the Christopher Joyce Vineyard and Inn, uh, Not so, sort of northern Paso here. Nice. Beautiful place. And we're looking at the Thatcher 2008 GSM Central Coast Thatcher Winery local to Paso, of course, here. Mm -hmm. And this is almost equal parts Grenache, Syrah, and Maved. Hmm. Pretty familiar Jason. Rhone blend to mm -hmm. us, especially for the area. Ah. We got our great Ickendorf stemware from Unica home here. Unica. <laughs> I'm not getting a lot on the nose, yeah, it's actually. Just, it's your GSM with a cherry compote. Yeah, just not, the nose isn't really jumping out at me. Maybe a little pepper. Yeah. Okay. I can say uh, the color, it's, it's showing a garnet. It's showing the correct varietal, but uh, nose is muted. But we are out here in the wide open. What do you think? <laughs> I can't wait for you to try this. It is really, really good. It's very sweet. But it's got tons of cinnamon, tons of red hot action. Mmm, it's got a beautiful mouth coating mid palate. The finish is mouth watering. <laughs> this is we what, are talking. This is why we're in Paso. Yeah, this, this is, is so indicative of Central California, exquisitely, massively extracted fruit, mm. red hot cinnamon drops, just just a glorious amount of spice just so peppery and spicy and oh my gosh filled. it is delicious really, yeah. this is a delicious wine there's so much cinnamon mm -hmm. if you know someone who's a cinnamon fan this is the wine for them just oh. pop and pour liquid red hot it's really in the Saxon vein too mm -hmm. it's definitely lighter to medium body but it's so that it, the flavor is so intense on the palate and it's it's sitting pretty heavy in the glass. It it's, fits its 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 mouth coating nature. We were not big fans of I think it was their Viognier that we tried a few episodes ago, but this is really showing us what Thatcher can do. To me, this is a ninety three point GSM. This is excellent, and I know for the price, it's going to be great value. And I'm now that it's on my palate, I'm going in and looking at it more. Its behavior in the glass, it's showing, it's an 08, and it's showing some strong bricking. Right. And it's we just. We corked and poured oh, this Oh, I'd bad love boy. to try this in a couple years. Oh, but right now, it's, it. it's glowing today mm -hmm. out in beautiful 70 degree weather. Yeah, this, it's glowing. This laid down, the fruit settles down, a little bit more nuance comes out of it. Oh, it could go, it has room to grow. I can't stop drinking this. This is a, mm -hmm. this this is going to be a really popular wine with anybody who likes Rhone varietals and likes uh, the Paso Robles style. So we'll be back with more from Paso and all around the globe. Got your GSM 2008 big happy face. <laughs> wine weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.